Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday, uh, April 9th, 2019. You see the clouds are coming in here now. We've actually had a very, very good day. Uh, it's uh, probably high 50s today here at the homestead. But uh, now the clouds are moving in. I want to bring you in here real quick, guys, and I wanted to show you this. So we're going to bring this in here. We've actually, and I knew it was going to be the best day of the year so far, I looked earlier. Uh, so, we're in float. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this side has brought in 1.5 kilowatt hours. This side has brought in 2.5 kilowatt hours. So we're talking about 4 kilowatt hours all together so far today. And it is, let me see what time it is here. It is almost 5 o'clock now. So, um... It's uh, best day of the year. We, pro we pulled in 3.3 uh, yesterday uh, as far as kilowatt hours went. So obviously blew that away today with up to 4 already. And we're still pulling in power on uh, both units. So that's, uh, that's awesome. I'm happy to hear that. So and yesterday actually was the first day. Normally what we have to do over the course of the winters and then once we get into spring then it changes of course but over the course of the winters we end up having to run the generator with complementing basically um, you know comp complementing the solar so whatever we get in solar uh, basically and I've, and I've said this before if I pull in 3.0 kilowatt hours in a day I basically can run all day all night uh, with what we use okay so um, anyway I was gonna take around a puppies out here running so uh, yesterday we pulled in 3.3, and yesterday was the first day of the year that we did not have to run the generator at night, and we I didn't go to bed till like midnight. So it was we just ran on solar after that. So it worked out really really well. This morning I turned the solar on uh, at seven o'clock this morning, and so and there's Mr. Maxie and Heather. So solar's doing its job. It's uh. It's definitely getting there. I, I'm looking forward to when we get to move everything back. Uh, probably we're looking either at the end of this month or possibly uh, at the end of May. That's when that's going to all happen. I don't know yet. We still have to get the other things done. Uh, Greg's coming tomorrow, and we're going to do some more work on the chicken coop. And as you see, the puppies are running like lunatics. So today, what I was focusing on today was uh, cutting up more wood. Okay, so I basically, I'm at the point now where I'm bucking everything up. So this piece here, as you see, it's still intact. Uh, that's going to Greg. It's, uh, he's going to make lumber out of that. That piece I'll show you over here, he's going to take that one too. Well, he only said he was going to take one, but I'm giving him two. He said either this one or that one, and I'm like, I'm going to give him both. But, uh, so anyway, uh, we got all of this cut up here. Well, we meet. <laughs> So, I always say we just because I always include the kids, but I actually cut everything up. So, got all this cut up, was working up here. I worked that whole tree there. So, basically, what I have left, I have this tree here to go. Uh, part of that tree there, the smaller part, because as you can see, I'll show you over here. Um, this is the part here that uh, Greg is going to take. So, he's going to take that eight foot piece as well. So I cut that one. So I just got to zip this up. That's going to be the longer one. It's not going to be that difficult to do. And then I got that one there. And then that's going to be it for it all, all cut up. Uh, like I said, Greg's going to come over tomorrow. And we're going to work on the chicken coop. So I don't know if I'll get to anything tomorrow. Uh, the wood may be down on the ground for a little while before I get it over and get it moved. Uh, that I will not do all at once. Okay. So the amount of wood that I cut today for me is a lot and I'm going to explain in a second what was the difference today okay so I normally there's no way my back would have tolerated me doing this much okay so last yesterday I got something in the mail and I'm going to walk over here and I want to show you guys so go back over to Heather Hello, Heather. 
<clears throat> okay. Choking. Choking? Yes, yeah, basically. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I got in the mail yesterday uh, CBD oil from uh, Big Nugget Farm, okay? In Colorado. In Colorado, that's right. And so I said, you know what? I I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to see if this helps, okay? So this is one that you spray under your tongue. Then he has... So he sent me... Uh, two of the bigger bottles and he sent me two of the smaller bottles okay then he sent me three of these and these are a, a pain eraser basically it's a bomb that you would put right on the spot where you're having issues and uh, this is 270 milligrams the other one is 270 and the third one is a 400 milligram so what I did this morning is I actually took the 400 milligram one and I rubbed it into some of my lower back and then I sprayed a couple of squirts under my tongue with this one because that's how you take it. You take it sublingu uh, sublingually, and then. Yep. So Heather is taking uh, just is she? I gave her one of the bulbs to try, and then she actually uh, did some squirts under her tongue as well. She but then. Me out basically here. So then we have. He sent me three of these. These are a lip balm. Okay. So this is uh, sent me two naked, and uh, one uh, peppermint. So, anyway, so I, I said, okay, because I, I wake up, honestly, every morning, because when I sleep at night, because I'm a back sleeper, a lot of times in the morning, my back hurts. So, um, I tried it, I, and it's, I hate to, I mean, I'm not, like, trying to be beating a drum here, but it was realistically, guys, almost instant relief. It felt better instantly. Now, is it 100% yet? Absolutely not. I just had, like I said, one dose so far, but uh, I could definitely feel the difference. Uh, I got out here and I got started working on this this afternoon, and uh, I definitely could feel the difference. And uh, so I actually was able to go longer than I anticipated. So I was really pleased about that. Um, we still got to move everything. Yeah, right. Um, we got to move everything and get it over here and get it ready for getting split. So, but uh, like I said, I'm. Uh, I'm not trying to overdo it, but uh, it felt really, really good today, and like I said, that was a first dose. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go out on a limb here, guys, and say that we will be offering this on the website. Uh, I just have to speak with uh, the gentleman from uh, Big Nugget there, and uh, we're going to make arrangements. Meowing? Maxi? You my boy? Yes, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. This is my gentle cat. He is my... Uh, very gentle boy. He's pathetic. He is. Is his birth name Maximus? We call him Max. Is that yeah, his his birth name is Maximus, after Maximus Mes Desmond Meridius from Gladiator. But Maximus is not a tough guy, so he is like Maxi. Yes, you are. You're a good boy, though. You're a gentle boy. Yes, you are. You're a good cat. I don't think YouTube sees him very often. No, they don't see Max too much, but he's our orange boy. And uh, he's a good cat. So, but anyway, guys, um, I'm definitely, like I said, I'm going to be definitely selling this on my website. And uh, so, I, like I said, I have to contact him again. And we're going to get everything figured out. So, it may be a little bit yet before we have it on the website. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, one dose and I felt a difference. I'm going to ask Heather because she just took some right now. But uh, I'll ask her how she feels later because she's going to try some of that on her hip. She has a lot of hip joint pain. And uh, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. But as you can see, I'm going to turn this around here. We definitely are going to have rain coming in. It was so nice earlier, too. It was, oh, it was, like I said, it was a beautiful, beautiful day. But uh, like I said, it's in the 50s right now. Uh, very productive. So very productive day. Caesar. Hey. Come on, boy. Good boy. Like, huh? Good boy. She's the naughty girl. He's actually a good boy. She's the instigator. So anyway, guys, um, that's what I was working on in the homestead today. Just trying to make, you know, it, it's, it's funny, and, it's, and, I, and I say it a lot, but if you just make a little forward progress every day, you're, it's amazing how fast things get done, you know. I mean, just getting that done like we did yesterday and then th that part of that wood stacked, you know, that was, uh, that was a lot of work in itself. But, you know, it was productive and it, and it puts us in a great shape uh, for the coming winter. So, uh, like I said, all this is going to get split. We're going to get all that split. I'm going to finish. 
Well, there's the pups. Here's the babies. Caesar and Pandora. But Pandora's a naughty girl. She's got a mind of her own, don't you? Yeah. She has full autonomy. Yeah, she's something. Anyway, guys, um, but like I said, as, as long as you're working at things methodically, whatever you're trying to work towards, you'll get it done if you just keep working at it. So remember that. I mean, it's really, really important. I know I say it all the time, but it just it, it's amazing how much you get done as you just chip away at stuff. So anyway, I'm going to jump off of here for right now. Uh, I will see you guys all in the live chat tomorrow night. Remember, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Uh, I think a lot of people lose sight of that. Remember also, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so that's important to remember that, okay? The third thing, like I say, I always say it, STD, guys. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. You work at things methodically, things get done. You start checking things off your list, and it's a great, great feeling. Uh, you know, making forward progress is a really nice thing, so... That's what you just got to keep working on. And uh, so hopefully, you know, like I said, we'll continue to make progress here at the homestead. And, and that's what we're trying to accomplish. And uh, you guys do the same thing, okay? Stay away from the negativity. Negative people just want to bring you down because they're unhappy. Right, negativity breeds negativity. So if you stay positive, stay away from those type of people. Uh, keep a smile on your face and keep rocking, guys, all right? I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And there's Miss Heather. Say goodbye. It's winding. I'm it's winding? Oh my God! It's winding out. Heather, is it winding? That's what I, said. I know what you said. You said it's winding. Yes, I'm not ashamed. You're not ashamed. You're not embarrassed because you're misspeaking. <laughs> All right. I love you.